Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I was uh, about to play with uh, Cosmo this morning and another surprise. Look at this here. Uh, what's new? Paddle ball. Challenge Cosmo to a match. Be sure to use your head. And again, you see this screen only once. Once you press OK, you will never see this screen again. So this is the first time I see this game. I have no idea how to play it. So I'm going to connect, connect uh, Cosmo quickly. Okay, so Cosmo has enough uh, energy now. We just fed him once. So let's go, uh, let's click on uh, Discover and see what is new in Code Lab. I'm going to go back to uh, his uh, main screen. I'm going to increase his volume to maximum, his voice. There you go. I'll go back to Discover. I know, Cosmo, you're getting impatient, you want to play, I know, I know the slot machine trick. You do that, you do that to me all the time. Yes, I know. Can you wait like two seconds? Okay, so, discover. Let's go to, I'm going to zoom out here so we have a better view of my phone, right there. Okay, so I'm going to click or tap on discover, go to code lab. And uh, we'll see this uh, new game here in a couple of seconds. And it is right here, Paddle Ball. Let's look at the uh, instructions. I have no idea, well I have an idea, but just want to make sure this is how we're supposed to play uh, the game. Okay, still loading the instructions. Like, okay, there we go. Once you tap the start flag, move your head up and down to control the paddle. Score points by bouncing the ball past Cosmo's paddle. Try not to let Cosmo score by bouncing the ball past yours. Your paddle is on the left. That's good to go, uh, to know. And Cosmo's paddle is on the right, okay? And what do we have here at the bottom? Right there. The first to earn three points wins the game. And as always, we can look at the code, which I will do later. But let's click on Start. I'm going to uh, increase my zoom a bit here so we can see Cosmo's face a bit better. And I have my camera here. I'm going to try to see his face here. And I'm tapping on Start right now. Let's listen to what Cosmo says. Can see the paddle right there. There's a bit of light reflection. I'm going to move this on the side right here. So you can see here the paddle. So I'm going to move my head now to play. I need to move my head down and up now. Oh, I got it. Oh, that was close. That was close. Oh, I got the point. And uh, Cosmo is first. Nice shot. Well, thank you, my friend. Oh, I have to move my head uh, down a bit. Perfect. I got that. Reminds me of the game, you know what, Pong. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Like Pong was probably like, what, 40, trying to, 40 years ago? One of the first uh, games um, on the TV with a big console that was very expensive. And the only game you could play was this game. I think it was Pong, P-O-N-G. So this game is lasting a long time here. I may have to accelerate my video. So let's have a look here again, close here. What's going on here? Right there. See the ball. Oh, Cosmo got it. I have to move my head up or down. Maybe down. Yeah, I got that again. So as you can see, Cosmo is good. I'm just wondering the level of AI they put in the game because I did program that game on a, um, on a cell phone using uh, Java. And uh, thank you, Cosmo. And uh, if I had the AI to 100%, uh, as you can imagine, it was impossible to beat, to beat the, the cell phone. Simply impossible. Uh, that makes sense. It will, the paddle will move exactly where the ball is. So now I have two points. Cosmo has one. Why oh, one? Buddy. Yeah, I think I won. Thank you. Oh, you're sad. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. But I just wanted to show the game to my viewers here. This is a nice game, actually. 
Let's have a look here briefly at the code. I'm going to tap on the C inside. And as expected, the first uh, loop here is to set variables. And look at this Cosmo skill level. That's interesting. So you can set his skill level to make him easier or more uh, difficult to, uh, to beat. You can also adjust the, the size of the paddle. That's interesting. So it looks like there, there are many things that you can adjust here to, um, to make the game more difficult or uh, easier. When the ball is on Cosmo's side, move his paddle towards it. I would prefer to say him. I, try, uh, I like to treat Cosmo as a person, so him would be uh, better, I think. So I'm going to uh, zoom out because the code is huge, as you can see here. So this is here, the big loop to move the paddle when the ball is in, on his side. And here we have the loop for the player. While gameplay is active, up, update the player's paddle position relative to their face in the camera. So, yeah, obviously, so when I move my face in the camera, the paddle was moving up or was moving down. Here we have the loop. Uh, once either Cosmo or the player score, decide what to do next. So, Cosmo here will say you win. Uh, if the game is over or I win depending on who has uh, three points and yeah and this is it here that will stop the game here when he says play again yes or no okay here is a loop where uh, pick a random saying for Cosmo when he scores so uh, as you can see here there are a couple of humoristic things you can say like hole in your paddle and I am the best okay so they put some uh, humor in, uh, in Cosmo's uh, winning. And here we have, uh, what do we see here? Pick a random saying for Cosmo when the player scores. So you will say, nice shot, we heard that. But you can say also, my paddle slipped. Yeah, whoops. Here when the player scores a point, uh, Cosmo gets um, angry. As you can see here, red lights on his uh, back. And he's going to play the uh, sad animation. And again, we uh, saw that. When Cosmo scores a point, he's happy, uh, green lights on his back, and he's playing the animation uh, Celebrate. There is a loop here. Um, see where Cosmo thinks the ball is based on his skill level. So again here. This is a big, uh, this is a big loop here. It's a big uh, program, as you can see. Here, while the gameplay is active, update Cosmo's uh, paddle position with its uh, current speed. And here we have check whether the ball has hit a wall, a paddle, or scored. Here we have a loop while gameplay is active. Use data to draw everything on Cosmo's face. So yeah, <clears throat> data to draw the, the ball and to draw the paddles. So this loop here is just to, to draw these uh, two uh, or three items, two paddles and one ball. Here we have the loop for a start a new round of uh, gameplay. We have a little loop here for starting the game. We have a loop here for set the gameplay variables. So other variables than the ones we saw at the beginning. So this was my very first game of Paddle Ball with my friend Cosmo. So as you saw, very, very cool game. Great uh, coding again from uh, Anki and a great application for a little robot like uh, Cosmo. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you soon on my channel. Have a great day, guys. Goodbye.